Hi, I'm Phyllis, southernfrugal.com. Well, we're down on the floor in front of the kitchen cabinet and we're getting ready to replace the uh, uh, garbage disposal. Now, it kind of blew up night before last while I was trying to uh, grind up some apple peelings and apple cores. I really didn't have that much in there. I think it was just time that it was going to happen, no matter what was in there. But anyway, uh, so let me just show you what it did. I'll turn this around. And we don't have any light because I've got the uh, power off at the main breaker. Let me see if I can use my flashlight. Let's see, can y'all see that? Right there, this pipe, I'll do it like that, yeah. This pipe is what blew out. And because it was turning around like that, it threw it out all over me when I opened the cabinet to see what it was doing. But here was the problem. This little gasket thing on here all broke off and it just blew it out. Yeah, so the, the garbage disposal actually worked okay, but because of the pressure that built up, I guess, or something, it uh, ended up leaking at the bottom and it had never leaked before but it was leaking right out of that reset button and over there. In fact, there was a drop of water right then that came out, yeah. So, what we have to do, we don't have to disconnect this because it's already out. And we, this is the uh, tube that goes to the dishwasher. So what we'll do is just unscrew that screw and loosen that a little bit and take that off. And I've got something down here to catch the water and then we'll take the electrical connection off, which is exactly why I've got the breaker box turned off. So, let me show you all the instructions. Now, ladies, you can do this. You can do it. it you see all the steps? Now, it's not that bad because uh, if you've already got a garbage disposal in there, you can skip all these steps right in here. So, what we're going to do, first thing to do is remove the old uh, garbage disposal, disconnect the power right here, and then we're going to uh, see about installing the new one. Now, this time I got a half horsepower because I listened to my plumber friend and he said, you really don't need anything more than a half horsepower. So there it is, one half horsepower. And uh, this is a Badger, number five, it was $99. However, this one here, is a three-fourths uh, horsepower and it cost a lot more but I don't need it so why why do it he says for normal homes you don't need more than a half horsepower and I did see the power of it because when it did its little thing and blew the pipe off it hit me all the way up to here everything on the front of me was covered with little itty bitty uh, apple peelings and some water. Yeah, it was pretty bad. I had to go take a shower. And uh, anyway, we got it all. Of course, it got some on the floor too. Got that all cleaned up. And I haven't been able to use that side of the sink or the dishwasher because the drain for the dishwasher is attached to it. So I've been washing dishes by hand, which was interesting. It was. So, and I noticed that my glasses were actually shinier when I washed them by hand. That was interesting too. But anyway, so I'm going to cut it off now, and uh, I'm going to take this off by just undoing this little screw here. This is for the dishwasher. There'll probably be a little water in it, so I've got something down here to catch that. And then I'm going to take the uh, um, old disposal off by simply putting the screwdriver in. Can y'all see that? It's probably better if I don't have the light on, huh? Yeah, y'all can see better if I don't even have the light on. This little thing right here, I'm going to put a screwdriver in it, and I'm going to turn it a little bit, and all of this will come down, so I have to hold it. So I can't really do the uh, camera while I'm doing that. But anyway, once I get that detached, and again, all you have to do is put a screwdriver or something in this little hole and just turn it, and it'll come, it'll come loose. Now, we don't have to do all of this on the instructions to do with the sink and the plumber's putty and all this in here. 
because we've already got that there and I don't see any reason to replace that because it certainly never leaked. So we're going to do that and then I'm going to flip it over and we'll undo the power source. So we'll be back. Okay, I wanted to show you this. I've taken the dishwasher attachment off. You just unloosen it and then you just twist it a little bit and it'll come right off. And there was water in it because it's kind of, uh, the drain is tilted or has a little trap like in it. So that's why there's water. So I've got to dump that out and then we're ready to take this whole little thing off. Be back. Okay, I wanted to mention this. Uh, you need something under the disposal to support it because these things are pretty heavy. Now this old one is actually heavier than the new one. So I put an old uh, stew pot under here and a couple of books to hold it. So I'm going to turn this to the right and it'll catch on here and we're going to be ready to uh, undo the electrical cord. So yeah, put something under it because it's very difficult to hold it way in front of you like that. We'll be back. Okay, so now we've got the uh, disposal completely removed and we've still got a power connection. So what I'm going to do is unscrew those two little screws there and then open it up and pull the, uh, the uh, cords out of it. And I guess I'm going to have to open that right there too and uh, pull that all out and we'll be back. Okay, here's what it looks like when we're taking out the uh, wiring. These are the wiring uh, to the uh, uh, disposer itself. And then here's the house wire that's coming in. And right here is the uh, grounding wire. So we're going to undo that and pull this out. We'll be ready to get the other uh, disposer ready. Now I'm going to put this down in a plastic bag because I know there's probably some water left in there. In fact, some of it drained out there. So we're going to take it all out this part and we'll be back. Okay, so I've got the uh, old disposal completely disconnected and well actually this is the new one. There's the old one right there. But I wanted to show you this. You see that little piece that's around there? And this is the new one. See it's all intact. Old one, new one. Old one, new one. Yeah, that's what happened. But I'm not going to use this piece because my pipe is a little off here. Not much, but it's a little off. And so I went ahead and got this kind of a little tube connection because it'll bend and it gives me a little more room. So I'm going to definitely, well, it actually goes this way. Yeah. And this is the little part that attaches to the disposal. And this is the part at the bottom that goes in this drain right here. All right, so let me get going on this. And one of the things I wanted to point out, something you do not want to forget, and that is that inside the dishwasher connection in there, there's a plug. So you absolutely need to make sure that you take that plug out because that's your drain for your dishwasher. So I'm going to knock that out and... Uh, We'll get the wiring started and we'll be back. Okay, I wanted to show you all this. This little piece that holds the electrical wire and this little washer here, uh, I had to take off the old one because that does not come with it, unfortunately. So I'll have to be putting that on. Then I'm going to thread the electrical wire through there and then I'm going to attach them to these wires. All right, we'll be back. Okay, y'all, for me, the most difficult part is getting this big wire in there and get it turned the right way and then getting the grounding wire attached to this little green screw. So the grounding wire will be the copper one that's got it, not got any coating on it. And then this black one goes to this black one and the white one to the white one. And then we're going to put these little caps on and then we're going to put some electrical tape around them just to hold, make sure they're held on tight. All right, y'all, we'll be back. All right, so we've got the grounding wire attached and the two white wires and the two black wires up in there. And I just always put electrical tape around those little caps just to make sure they're held on really tight. 
All right, we're going to get this together. We'll be back. Okay, we've got all the electrical attached now. Got the cover back on. This is all in there tight. And this is, uh, this little part is so that cord won't pull out in case somebody snagged it or, you know, pulled it on somehow. Anyway, so now what we're going to do is attach it up here. And it's just a matter of screwing it on. You just lift it up, get it in place, and uh, screw it onto this connection. It's a real fast connection, no problem. All right, we're going to do that, and we'll be back. All right, I was about to forget to put my drain in first. Now, I bought this flex drain pipe right here because this was the old one right here, and this is the new one. And it's not even as long as the old one. Look, it's like an inch shorter. So that definitely would not work. So I'm glad I got that. All right, so we're ready to lift this up and screw it on now for sure. And then I'm going to connect the uh, pipe right there for the dishwasher. All right, we'll be back. Okay, I've got the drain on on the other side. And now I've got to line up these mounting brackets with this little thing here and the problem is it's so heavy that I have trouble holding it so Mr. Bucky's going to have to come in and hold one part of it. Alright, we'll be back. Okay, Houston, we've got a problem. This little thing just popped right out. So, I'm going to have to figure out how to do this because that did not work. We'll be back. Alright, I've got the water turned on. And I already cut it on one time, but we'll just cut it on again. It's a little quieter than my other one. Not as many horsepower, I guess. Anyway, i got my drain in. That works fine. I've got no leaks, so let's turn it on. y'all. I want to turn it around a minute. Alright, so the hardest part for me was getting that big wire through that hole and being able to bend it because I'm just not strong enough. And the other thing is lifting it up. I did finally get it up by myself um, onto the little hooks and all you have to do is just screw it in right here. Put a screwdriver or something in there. Let me see if y'all can see. Yeah. Put a screwdriver in there and just tighten that up. But anyway, the water's still running. We got no leaks. And I do like this little connection because in the past, this pipe was always a little off. And that might have added to why that thing cracked off. Let me show you. Why that little thing cracked off there because it was under pressure. But this is no pressure, and it's all connected tightly. We don't have any leaks anywhere, but I will keep watching it for the next couple of days. There's a dishwasher connection. Anyway, so it took me a while, y'all, because I couldn't lift it up. And uh, But then finally I had it on the, uh, that big pot, two books, and then I put uh, some of those towels, yeah rolled up those towels and put it under and I was able to get it up there fine. And so now we've got a new garbage disposal for the new owner. Okay? Alright, we will see y'all next time. Bye for now.